What's going on YouTube? In this cool tutorial, I just want to show you how you can make this awesome budget chart in Excel that has a marker right up here for the budget, a separate line each for the actuals, but what's really cool about this chart is that whenever a day is over budget, it automatically highlights to be the color red. Watch till the end to know how to make this cool chart. So here we have the data right here. We have day, the budget for every single day, the actual amount um, incurred and then over budget. Now, one thing to note with the over budget so basically, to prep this, we want to have it say, hey, if the, if the actual is greater than the budget, we want to return the actual. If not, we want to return an A. Um, and you're going to see how this plays in a bit later. So now we just want to go through and make a basic chart. So we're going to hide the data, go to the Insert tab. And then we're going to go to recommended charts. Now we're going to click on all charts and we're going to go to the bottom where it says combo chart. So here we click combo and we want to have, we, and we want to have the budget be the markers. So because we, this, we want it to be a line, but make sure you click line with markers um, because the markers is going to want to become the um, is going to become the markers that you saw on the previous chart. And then we want the actual the over budget to both be clustered columns. So, and then we're going to click OK. So, now we're going to do a couple of the tricks on this chart to get it this chart to be what the last chart was. So, first we're going to adjust the markers so we have only black lines on the top instead of these lines. And to do this, we're going to right click on the line and we're going to click Format Data Series. Now, after clicking Format Data Series, we want to edit the marker. So to do this, we will go to Fill and Line on the left. We click on not line, but marker. And then, or no, we... Now that we're on the sheet, we want to make sure that only the line... We have recorded a couple times, actually. In this tutorial, I just want to show you how you can make this awesome budget chart in Excel where we have a marker with the budget, a separate line for the actuals. But what's really cool about this chart is that if the cost incurred is over the given budget, it dynamically changes to the color red. And watch at the end so you can see the couple nifty tricks that are put into this Excel chart to get it to look like this. So. Here we have a copy of the data. Now, one thing to note um, is, is that with the data we have every single day, we have the budget for a given day, we have the actual amount incurred for a given day, and then we have this formula right here um, saying if it's over budget. Now, this is going to come into play in a minute, but we get basically want to say, hey, if the actual is greater than the budget, we want to return the actual amount. If not, we're going to just want to use an A. And now to go ahead and make a chart first we're going to go ahead and insert a basic combo chart so to get get this oh by the way a small note um we're returning na because na doesn't show up in charts whenever you graph it um it's a quick side note so now to make the basic combo chart is a kind of our base we're going to first highlight the data we go into the insert tab click uh, click on recommend the charts now we we'll click on all charts and we're going to click on combo chart now we now we want to have the budget as the little black lines at the top so pretty much we're going to have the line chart with markers and we're going to have only the markers showing so we're going to have the budget as a line chart with markers and we want to have the actual as a cluster column and we also want to have the over budget as a cluster column as well too and now we're going to click okay so now here because where a couple of the tricks comes into place and this is great too because let's just say the data changes for example so let's just say the 62533 is is 800 instead as you can see the formatting for that point change right there um, and you can of course adjust this to put your liking more so you can you know adjust the dates click on format axis i'm doing through this real quickly but you can for example change the date code to be month with month dash day day if you wanted to um you know and just mess around the formatting to fit your fancy, but that said, I hope you found this to be helpful. Um, if you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.